Over the years, Football Manager has prophesied the glittering careers of countless superstars. From forecasting the rise of Neymar as a teenager in FM10, to introducing the GOAT Lionel Messi way back in FM2006. The latest in this series of You Are The Chosen One seems to be Endrick in FM23, who after being hyped up in this year's game has already sealed a future move to Real Madrid. But after receiving the rather heavy crown of FM Wonder Kid, will his career go the way of Neymar and Messi, or will it go the way of the players included in today's video? This is the story of FM's failed Wonder Kids. Our first failed Wonder Kid is one of the many players over the years who have been cursed by the label of the new Messi. In FM 2008, Bojan Kerkic, known simply as Bojan, would be introduced into Football Manager and given a potential ability of negative 10, the best possible in the game. Players marvelled at his development and how brilliant he could become, and this seemed accurate, as Bojan would break into a Barcelona super team in real life that boasted talents such as Carlos Puyol, Ronaldinho, Andres Iniesta, Xavi, and of course Messi. Making his debut at just 17 years and 19 days, Bojan would in fact break a record previously held by the great Messi. His career at Barcelona would be respectable, if underwhelming compared to his hype, as he scored 26 times in 104 appearances before moving to AS Roma. Following this, his career continued to plummet. Quiet stints at Milan and Ajax preceded a thoroughly disappointing five-year spell at Stoke City. Not something you'd expect on the resume of any world superstar, and things didn't really get much better following this. Mainz, Alaves, Montreal Impact in Canada, and most recently, Vissel Kobe in Japan. I suppose at least Bojan can claim that, whilst at Barcelona, he played at the very top level. Something our next failed wonder kid could only dream of. Carlos Eduardo Fierro Guerrero, recognisable as Carlos Fierro to the football manager fraternity, is a footballer currently playing at Juarez in his native Mexico. His career represents that of an average Mexican forward, representing Mexico at youth level before moving around clubs in Mexico and the US. However, at one point, Carlos Fierro was the most prolific of strikers in Football Manager. Back in FM 13 and 14, you could pick up a teenage Fierro from Guadalajara and quickly establish him as a goal-scoring machine in your side. Football Manager and Sports Interactive clearly predicted that he would burst onto the world stage in real life, and with good reason too. A young Fierro had just helped his Mexican side to the Under-17 World Cup and picked up the Adidas bronze ball in the process. He scored four goals at the tournament and dedicated each to his late brother Gustavo, who had died of cancer just three years prior. As previously mentioned, Fierro didn't reach the heights expected of him though, and would only manage a career path through Querétaro, Cruz Azul, Morelio, San Jose Earthquakes and most recently Juarez. It seems incomprehensible that the free scoring striker from Football Manager would actually manage just 20 goals in his entire career to date. But if expectations were high for Fierro, it was nothing compared to that of our next failed one, the kid. For Freddy Adu, the world really was at his feet in 2004. The DC United youngster had earned the nickname of the next Pele, some moniker for a kid that hadn't even sat his high school exams. In Football Manager 2005, his projected career matched this, first appearing in the game at 14 years old and in the game easily developing into an all-time great. Adi was born in Ghana and moved to the United States with his family at a young age. He began playing football at a local club in Maryland and quickly progressed through the youth ranks. He was just 14 years old when he signed a professional contract with MLS club DC United in 2003. At the time, he was the youngest player ever to sign a professional contract in American soccer history. Adu made his professional debut for DC United in April 2004 and quickly established himself as a key player for the team. He helped the club win the MLS Cup in his first season and was named the league's Rookie of the Year. He also made his debut for the US national team that same year, becoming the youngest player in US soccer history to appear in a World Cup qualifying match. These, though, would be the peak achievements of Freddie Adu's career. In 2007, Adi was transferred to Real Salt Lake and spent two seasons there before moving to Benfica in Portugal, where he struggled to make an impact and was sent out on several loans, mostly to teams in Europe and Brazil. A stint in Turkey with Rizespor followed, but his career continued to go downhill from this point onwards, playing for many teams in various countries such as Serbia, Brazil and Finland before retiring from professional football in 2020. Despite the high expectations placed on him, Adu's career was never close to living up to its potential. He was never able to secure a regular spot at any of his clubs, 
and his performances were often inconsistent. He's considered by many as the biggest failure of any FM Wonder Kid, and it would have been remiss to have made this video and not included him. For Brazilian fans, perhaps the same could be said about our next failed Wonder Kid. Once considered equals with Neymar and called the best player of his generation by Socrates, Ganso was an FM Wonder Kid back in 2008. Bringing him into your squad only ever went one way. He became a vital member, performed amazingly, and became a world leading talent. In reality though, Ganso didn't ever reach these heights, and his career played out in the shadow of his superstar contemporary Neymar. Paulo Henrique Chagas de Lima, commonly known as Ganso, is a Brazilian professional footballer who plays as an attacking midfielder in his native Brazil. Ganso began his professional career with Santos, where he quickly established himself as one of the top young players in Brazil. He helped Santos win the 2010 Campeonato Paulista, and even more impressively, the 2011 Copa Libertadores where he was also named the tournament's best player. Ganso's performances for Santos earned him a call-up to the Brazilian national team, and he made his international debut in 2010. In 2011, Ganso was heavily linked with a move to European clubs such as PSG and AC Milan, but he ultimately stayed with Santos. In 2013, though, he would join Sao Paulo. Ganso's time at Sao Paulo was marked by several injuries, and he would eventually move to Europe in 2016, joining Sevilla in Spain. After just 18 appearances and a loan spell to Amion in France, Ganso would once again return to Brazil. It's difficult to call Ganso's career a failure as a whole, but when you consider what was expected of him, especially on Football Manager, you have to say he's failed to live up to the hype. Failing to live up to the hype is also a criticism that could be levelled at our final failed wonder kid. Henri Savé was one of the absolute best wonder kids to sign on Football Manager 2008. The 17-year-old Frenchman, who would go on to represent Senegal, could be signed for a budget price and had the potential to be one of the world's best players. Playing attack in midfield or in the forward line, he embodied a young Thierry Henry on FM, but in real life, this wasn't so much the case. Starting his career at Bordeaux, coming up through the club's youth system, he made his professional debut for the team in 2008. Over the next several years, Savé established himself as a regular starter for Bordeaux, even helping the team win the Ligue 1 title in the 2008-2009 season. 134 appearances later, there were still faint hopes that Savé could live up to his football manager billing, especially when a Premier League move came knocking. In January 2016, Newcastle parted with around £5 million to sign him and handed him a bumper five-year contract. Perhaps now we'd see the FM version of Savé. It wasn't to be the case. And in fact, his time at Bordeaux in his younger years ended up being the pinnacle of his career. Because after just five unimpressive appearances for Newcastle, Savé was shipped out on loan multiple times before recently winding up at Pau FC in the second tier of France. Football Manager has an impressive track record of getting it right, but nevertheless, plenty more of these failed wonder kids exist out there in the world. If you've enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to see a part two, maybe including one or two more of these failed wonder kids, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.